Okay, come to seated. We're going to do some exciting new stuff today. We're going to do, as I was just talking about, we're going to do the diaphragm vacuum and we're also going to add on to our sun salute. So if you can take off your socks, take them off now because you're going to want to feel a connection to the floor. I got two kids with me here today. You can see Sasha in frame and Kara's off to the right. Do you want a cushion, Kara? Are you okay? Okay. Okay. And we got Bryce really helping out here, putting the stuff up on YouTube. So if you, um, if you know anybody who can't do stuff during the week and they need to do stuff during the weekends, you can send them to my YouTube channel. It's Java Yoga on YouTube. Pretty simple to get there. I don't think they're password protected, but I'm not sure. We'll ask Bryce later. Is that Elham? Elham, look. It's the cup you gave me. Thank you so much. Okay, find your way to a comfortable position. Find your bum bones on the floor or on the couch. Close your eyes. See how quickly you can come into your body and your breath. What does it take to turn inside? Notice the gentle rise and fall of your chest. And then take your awareness into your belly, soften it and breathe there. Notice if you are feeling edgy or fidgety, or if it's easy for you to sit still. If you are fidgety, just say to yourself, we'll be moving in a few minutes. Swallow gently and release the muscles of your throat. Begin to lengthen your inhale and your exhale. Keeping them about the same length. As you inhale, say silently to yourself, inhale. And as you exhale, say silently to yourself, exhale. This can help to focus your mind. This can help to bring you inside a little more quickly. Keeping your eyes closed, bring your hands to the side of your ribs today. So one hand to each side of your body. You can open, flicker your eyes open to look at me if you need to. This is a bit of an awkward position and your shoulders might be raised a little bit. Spread your fingers out wide around your ribs. Feel as many ribs as you can. If you need to bring your hands down lower, see how I just changed the position of my hands? You can either face your fingers towards the floor or flip your fingers and face them towards the front and bring your thumbs behind you as if you're holding yourself and you're going to lift yourself up. 
and just see how many ribs you can feel here. And then begin to feel the ribs pushing out into your hands. And then coming back together on the exhale, inhaling and exhaling through your nose. Lengthen your breath as much as you can now. And keep the inhale and the exhale about the same length. And we're going to practice the sh breath. Take a deep inhale and then exhale and say shh. Inhale, very deep. Exhale, shh. Let your inhale come back in through your nose. Now you can release your hands for the next few breaths. We're going to practice that a few times. Just take a deep inhale through your nose. Some people call this the librarian breath, which I think is hilarious. Exhale. One more, make that the longest shush that you can. And remember, we can hear you, so you can make a nice loud shh. Okay, return your breathing to normal. And as promised, you probably feel a little bit of air hunger now, which is so great. Just notice what that feels like. And I'm gonna show you the diaphragm vacuum. It's easier to do standing up than it is to do sitting down, but I'm gonna do it sitting down. Bring your hands back to your ribs. Diaphragm vacuum is to massage the internal organs. I do it pr pr predominantly to massage my viscera, my stomach, but it's also very good for the um, fascia and the fluid around your lungs. So take a deep inhale. Feel your ribs come into your hands. Really come into your hands all the way. Make them as big as, big as you can. Right into that zone two, that chest zone. And now take a deep exhale. Feel your ribs come back together. And now here's the tricky part. We're gonna inhale into our ribs, but not into our belly. So, but actually you're not gonna inhale. Sorry, that's confusing. You're gonna keep your breath out, but you're gonna widen your ribs. Just practice that a couple of times. Keep your breath out and widen your ribs. Push them into your fingers. So you'll have to release and just take a breath. So there's no inhale, it's on a breath hold. And what happens is your viscera, everything gets sucked up inside of your rib cage, it's sucked up really high, sucked up by the diaphragm. So have your hands on your ribs again, resettle them on there, take a big inhale, notice the feeling of pulling in and out with your, with your intercostals, make them big like a balloon. Big exhale, empty everything out. Now keep your breath out, and widen your ribs into your hands. And then you kind of have to release and take a breath and you'll probably take a little bit of an emergency breath there. It'll sound a little bit like this, but after a while you can play with this breath and then it's not so much of an emergency breath anymore. Let's try that one more time. Take a deep inhale. 
feel your ribs pressing into your fingers. Exhale fully and hold out. Hold out. Now widen your ribs back into your fingers, but don't breathe in. And then release. Take your hands off your ribs, bring them back to your knees. So that breath is really great for, as I said, mixing things up around your internal organs, but it's a little bit stimulating. So let's, let's get straight into some stimulating stuff. Let's go into Sufi grind, sushi bowl. I'll never be able to think of this as anything but sushi bowl now. Going around with your ribs. And remember that if you're on hands and knees, you can be doing exactly the same motion here on hands and knees. It's called a barrel roll. Your ribs go down towards the floor and up towards the sky. See if you can feel all of those little muscles that we were working when we were doing that diaphragm vacuum when we were doing all of that breath work see if you can feel those muscles now switch directions and coordinate your breath you can also do this if you're on hands and knees you can coordinate your breath inhale forward exhale back And remember, we're using the muscles in our arms to get everything juiced up here. We're juicing up the fascia of our chest, around our lungs, around the heart. Each of your organs lives in a bag of fascia, of tough tissue that protects it. And we're, we're moving all of that. We're compressing and releasing. This has profound effects on your digestion and your metabolism in general. Let's smoothly switch into cat cow. And remember, if you're on hands and knees, you're following Lara. If you're sitting down and you want to do this slow, concentrate on bringing your chin into the cleft of your chest. Get yourself some thyroid thymus stimulating action as well as vagus nerve stuff happening in the neck as you stretch and release. And remember that crocodile jaw that we were doing? You can do that here. Open your jaw and press it into your chest. Last breath. Up to center. And let's do a couple of rolls of your elbows up and around and in the other direction. Just find any random moves of your shoulders. Can we do them? I don't know if I can do opposite. Oh, I can, sort of. <laughs> Last breath. Switch directions if you're trying to, oh, yeah, it's not working. <laughs> Switch directions if you're going in one direction or another. One of the things about yoga that happens is that we get kind of moving always in the same lines and the same planes. So I like to shake things up and move in different planes. Last breath. And then let's do what we did yesterday, but just quickly inhale your right arm up and just come into a beach ball stretch. Pull on your right wrist and take a couple of breaths. This can even be kind of active today. You can lift up and over, really spread your right fingers. You can even move around a little bit here. What we're working is we're working the shoulder blade. We're moving the shoulder blade along your back. There's layers of fascia in there as well. And switch to the other side. Really spread your left fingers here. Grab onto your wrist and use some muscle. Really move and breathe. Probably your chest feels a little bit different after that diaphragm vacuum. Let's see if you can really breathe into that different sensation. Maybe there's some areas that are freer. And let's go straight into some side to side neck work. 
So side body, neck, shoulders. You can hold and breathe as we've been doing. Actually, let's everybody come to one side, take a deep inhale, and let's do a librarian breath. Big inhale. Exhale. You know, I'm going a little deeper during that exhale. Big inhale. Reach your fingers. Exhale. Librarian breath. Let's come up, spider your other fingers on the floor, come over, find your maximum stretch, and then inhale, exhale. One more, big inhale. Maybe turn your face to face the ceiling a tiny bit and exhale. Come back up. Interlace your hands behind your head. Magnetize your elbows in front. Pull them towards each other. Really pull. Can you touch them in front of your head? And then open them wide. This is cat cow, but our elbows are wide. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow pose. Notice your chest opens wide. Exhale, your chest closes. Inhale, open. Ooh, Kara's on the ground doing this. That's cool. She's like in cobra. Yeah, if you want to be on the ground on your belly, you can do this in cobra pose or supermans. Last three. Let's give people that are getting into their, onto their bellies a chance to do this. It's a good idea, Kara. Inhale, open. Exhale, close up. Really pull. One more, big inhale, open. And this time when we go in, keep it closed. Bring your elbows as close to your groin as you can. Really get small, small, small. And now we're gonna do a bit of resistance work. So begin to bring your, your torso back up and your head to come back up to neutral. But remember when we resist it, resist with your hands. Resist, resist. Your head wins and your neck wins eventually, but it's a very slow process. Resist with your hands. Resist, but be really careful. Small muscles at the back of the neck. Open up, come up to that maximum opening. And then release and rest. Remember, it was the three R's. Resist, rest, and restretch. So we'll restretch now. Bring your hands back up, interlace and find that snail posture. Come really close into, bring your elbows close into your lap. Let's take a librarian breath in here. Big inhale, big exhale. Release and come back, back up to neutral. Take a breath, release your shoulders. Pull one arm across your chest. And then the other. And let's go straight into a twist, inhale overhead. Exhale, twist to one side or the other. Find your full twist, take a deep inhale, big shh breath. Release, come back through center. Notice how that shh breath makes your breath really long. It's a, it's a trick for, for extending your exhale. Find your twist. Take a deep breath in, lengthen your spine on the inhale.
release and come back to center. No matter where you are, find a forward fold here. If you're sitting up, come into folded position. If you're on the floor, you can come in. If you like, you can come into child's pose. I'm gonna move back to the couch now and we'll start our sun salute. If you're doing those standing, come to standing, watch Lara. We're going to add something on to sun salutes today. Lara and I have a little discussion beforehand. So I'll do it very slowly the first couple of times. We're gonna add on a cat cow in the middle so that you, those of you who are standing can do a vinyasa and go through up dog and back to downward facing dog. So we're gonna start in exactly the same way as we always do, inhale overhead. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right knee comes into your chest. When you're standing, you're back in the lunge. And then we're gonna come back into neutral. If you're standing, you're in downward facing dog. Here's where it gets different. If you're seated, inhale your chest forward. If you're standing, if you're doing a standing sun salute, come to upward facing dog. Exhale, cat pose, downward facing dog for those people who are on the floor. And then inhale your left knee in. The people who are on the floor, step your right foot forward and come into a lunge again. And then exhale, foot comes down to the ground, people standing up, step up to a forward fold, everybody's forward folding. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Reverse one dive up. And exhale, mountain pose. That looked good from what I can see. Let's try that again. Inhale, overhead, sweep your arms up. Remember, you can extend your legs if you like. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, long spine, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, left knee in. If you're standing, left foot goes back into a lunge. And then push back, downward facing dog. Inhale, cow pose. Upward dog pose for those of you on the Exhale, cat pose. Downward facing dog, beautiful. Inhale, right leg up to your chest. Left foot comes forward here if you're on the floor. And then exhale, forward fold. Step forward into forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale your way up. Exhale, neutral. That was beautiful. This is a variation on a traditional sun salute. So in a traditional sun salute, it's a little confusing because we're doing a chair sun salute and a standing sun salute. So I'm telling you, I'm telling the seated people to bring your right knee in, but the first time around, if you're standing, your right leg goes back. Your right leg moves both times the first time around. Your left leg moves both times the second time around. Let's try that again. Inhale overhead. Even if it doesn't exactly work, it still looks pretty great. Exhale, fold. Inhale, long spine, half lift. Exhale, big, huge exhale. Shh. 
Inhale your right knee in or back. And then exhale, neutral, downward facing dog. Inhale, chest forward, upward dog. Exhale, cat pose, downward facing dog. Inward left, inhale, left knee in. Right foot comes forward in this case, and you've got a big lunge. And then exhale, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Big exhale, you can do a breath here. Inhale up. Exhale down. We're moving with the left leg now. Inhale overhead. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Use your arm muscles, use your chest muscles. Exhale, fold. Left knee, left foot going back, left knee coming in. Take that nice lunge and then exhale back downward facing dog. Upward dog or cow pose. Exhale. Cat pose or downward facing dog. Right knees coming in if you're on the floor. Left foot goes forward, big lunge. Everybody forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale. Inhale your way up. Exhale, neutral. Let's everybody stand up if you can, and let's go into some arm stuff. Let's go into some kundalini stuff. Open, flick your fingers all the way up to the ceiling. Flick as fast as you can, and flick all the way down. Go all the way down to your legs if you want, and come all the way up. All you musicians out there, this is awesome work for you. It'll keep your fingers and wrists and forearms working until late in life. I guarantee it. Mine are starting to seize up right now. All the way up. One last time. Let's go down. Flick them out. Spread your feet a little bit more hip width apart. If you're sitting down, your legs are apart. And let's go into our twist. You can breathe any way you like. You can take some deep inhale. And exhale, librarian breath. Bring all your attention here to your belly. You can even, just to make sure that you're not just flinging your arms around, you can bring your hands to your shoulders and go, just twist here and then you'll know. You'll know that you're not relying on your hands. And then you can release your hands for a couple more. Last few. We're gonna go into a beautiful wide-legged forward fold as soon as we're done. So inhale your arms overhead. If you're sitting down, you can spread your legs wide and exhale fold. If you're standing up, bring your legs as wide as you like and exhale fold, hang your head. Let gravity take you, extend your exhale.
And remember that your forward fold isn't going to look like mine necessarily. Some of you will be deeper and some of you will be more up like this. If you don't have sensation in your hamstrings here, there should be a tugging sensation behind your hamstrings. If you don't have that, you can try bending your knees a little bit and see if that brings a sensation into the back of your legs. Deepen your breath, two more. Work your way back up to standing. Step your feet in, bring your feet together. I have never done this on a chair before, but we're gonna try it. I've done it standing lots of times. Bend your right leg, whether you're standing or whether you're seated. So if you're standing, we're gonna bend our right leg and then exhale forward fold. And take a couple of breaths and pull your way over the left leg. So your right leg is bent a little bit and your left leg is straight and separate your feet a little bit. Pull your body over top of your left leg. It really increases the stretch in the left leg. Your right leg can just be kind of soft and bent. Grab onto your left leg and pull your torso towards it and deepen your breath. Bring your breath into your ribs like you practiced and soften your belly. And then other side, bend your left leg, straighten your right, bring your torso over towards your right leg. And if you're a little bit more upright, you can still be doing this. Bring your body over top of one leg or the other, grab onto that leg, deepen your breath. Let's do a librarian breath, last one on this side. Come on back up to mountain pose or neutral seated pose. And let's do a couple of wrist protocols. In, interlace your fingers. Remember this from about a week and a half ago, I think. Rotate in both directions. And then push your arms overhead. And push your tops of your fingers towards me, towards the device, round your spine. Push again, palms towards the ceiling. And then exhale, push them towards me. Really round your spine, pull your belly button towards the back of your chair. One more time, inhale overhead. And exhale, push. Bring your right arm up and over and your left arm behind your back. This is the variation here. You can reach up and grab your right shoulder, but otherwise your hands look like this. If you're standing up, you can take a forward fold here to deepen this stretch. You can also take a forward fold if you're here. And just play with this and see if you deepen the stretch by coming forward or not. You can also do this if you're holding your elbow. You can take a little bit of a forward fold or a side bend also works really well here. Choose your stretch, choose your pose. Take one more breath and then switch arms. Left elbow comes up, right arm scooches underneath. If you can touch your fingers to each other, do that. If not, you can grab your left elbow and pull and then forward fold or side bend, whatever gives you the greatest sensation here. Gently work your way back to up to neutral. And we'll go back into the wrist protocol a little bit, interlace your fingers. Roll your wrists around and we'll finish it up with poodle paws. Point your fingers towards the floor. 
You can tug on your fingers if you like. And then tug your fingers back towards you. Push your palms towards me. Both sides. Take your fingers and begin to tap your neck, your chest, just as we've been doing. You can also tap your jaw. Remember the jaw work. I can't remember if we did that yesterday or the day before. You can tap your jaw, wiggle it out. Open your mouth wide. Deepen your breath. And then come down to your chest, half fists. And then if you're standing, you're going to want to come back down to the floor. For those of us already sitting, take your right foot up and place it on your left leg. If you're on the floor, you're doing the same thing. This is campfire pose on the floor. You can either leave your leg extended, your left leg extended, or if you're on the floor and you want a deeper stretch, you can bring that left leg on back towards your bum. No matter where you are, take your hands and slap your foot. If that doesn't feel like it's doing anything, you can make a half fist and kind of smack on the bottom of your foot as well. But I like the kind of side to side motion. Increasing circulation in the toes. And then remember what we did yesterday, interlacing our fingers through our toes. Do that. Interlace as many fingers as you can here, or just grab onto your toes and take a couple of good, solid, slow ankle rolls in both directions. No idea what's happening. Anybody got a phone? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I did with my phone. One more deep breath. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And take a forward fold. If you want to deepen that forward fold, extend your left leg. Remember, you're feeling tugging around your right hip here. Work your way gently back up to neutral. Switch legs. Bring your left foot up. Slap it out. Remember to keep your breath long while you're doing any of this stuff. This is myofascial release. And it's easy to lose your breath while you're doing this kind of stuff. But keep it long and then interlace your fingers. Find a couple of nice big ankle rolls here. If you're doing more running and walking, which I'm sure lots of you are because that's kind of the only exercise left for us to do besides we can bike here in Vancouver, but there's not many things left to do. So I think a lot of people in this world are doing a bit more running and walking. And this is the kind of work that is really great to do every day while you're using your feet like that. Last breath. Extend your right leg and exhale forward fold. Take a librarian breath here. Last one, big shh breath. Release and come back up slowly. If you're on the floor, you can start working your way back down into Shavasana. If you're seated, place your hands on your knees or your thighs. Close your eyes and begin to watch your breath. Take your attention inside. 
finding equal inhale, equal exhale. If it helps, you can mentally count the length of your breath. Or you can say inhale on the inhale and exhale on the exhale. This is mantra. This is the use of mantra. It's when you use a word mentally. And what it does is it stops you from thinking about all the other stuff, the grocery list, the weather on the to-do list. Think inhale and exhale. Or simply count in your own head. If you're really quiet and you can use your heart as a metronome, you can use your heartbeat. Here, count your heartbeat. Let your feet go very soft. Practice softening from the feet up. Soften your ankles. Soften and release your calves. If you can release the front of your shin. And release your knees. Soften your shoulder. As your attention flows through your body here, see if you can find any little echoes of the work that we have done today. Release your belly. Soften your pelvic floor towards whatever you're sitting on. Release your shoulders, let them be soft and let the heads of your shoulders, if you're lying down, let the heads of your shoulders fall back towards the floor. Beautiful breath. I can hear my girl's breathing it's so perfect. Long exhale. Soften your neck as much as you can. Soften your lips, even your gums, your teeth, your tongue. Let your entire face be soft and smooth. And let your breath breathe you. When your breath breathes you, you feel a little bit like a balloon or like a bacteria. You know, when you see those close up photos of bacteria under a microscope and how they're getting bigger and smaller. Gentle wave like pulse goes through you with your breath. Practicing coming into stillness is so important. The more you practice, the better you get at it, the more quickly you can pivot between activity and stillness.
strength and softness. That's one of the upsides to these short practices. I love me the three hour practices that we do on retreat, but these short practices have their own advantages. Begin to deepen your breath now. Flutter your eyes open. Put a little smile into your cheekbones. Wake up your fingers a little. And you can do some of the wrist protocol if you like. You can rotate them or lift them out. Or push your palms up to the ceiling or in front of you. Come to neutral. Your left hand to your chest, your right hand over top. Take a breath. Exhale. Beautiful work, everyone. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow, whoever's joining. And we'll practice a little bit more of that diaphragm, diaphragm oh, vacuum back tomorrow. tomorrow. I'm muting you. Hey, 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 hey. I have no idea what time it is. Oh, I'm only three minutes over. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you, Nikki. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you for using my mug. <laughs> You're welcome. So Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thanks. Bye. Lara. I don't see Bye, Marcia. Bye, Lara. Bye. Bye, Marcia. Bye. Lara. Thank you. No Lara here. Birthday boy. Was his last?